Hey loves, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will share some productivity hacks for starting your day so you can be productive and build healthy Christian habits to grow in Christ. Here's my 5 a.m. morning routine as a Christian stay-at-home mom. First is to plan ahead. My husband or I usually prepare the kids clothes at night or our clothes at night and I like to do a simple night routine so I won't get overwhelmed and so that I can maintain and be consistent with my nighttime routine. That's why I like to make it easy and simple. I also do my best to plan at night. This is the time where I try to make a list of the things that I need to do the following day. This helps me a lot with my productivity. Also, I do try to sleep early so that I can wake up early. As soon as I wake up, I open up my Bible app and I read the Bible verse of the day. So I have the widget in front of my phone so I can just easily open it. My main purpose of why I wake up at 5 o'clock or 5.30 in the morning is so that I can spend time with the Lord right when I wake up and this way I get to put Him first in everything that I do. I used to do my Bible reading during the afternoon and sometimes I don't really get to do it because I get lazy. Also, I'm longing for a deeper relationship with God and also to grow my faith so I can fight the good battle. We don't need no more oh, Even in the hard times You and I can weather any storm This day, I read Acts 17 where Paul, Silas, and Timothy traveled where the Holy Spirit takes them. In Thessalonica, a lot of people were jealous of them and they created a riot and persecuted them. They even traveled to Brea and to cause commotion as well. While in Athens, people worship idols, idols that are man-made. Even though they went through persecution, their faith were still strong and they were still bold and many people believed and followed them. Jesus is not a man-made nor an unknown God. He is not a man-made statue. He resurrected from the dead. He died and was risen again so that we can all be saved. And God gave us life, breath, and everything else. God did this so we would seek Him.
we thank you for this day, Lord, that he will be the light to others. His school will be safe. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Good job. Ah. Next is self-care. I am very bad with self-care, with consistency and everything, so I'm doing my best to take care of myself as well. As a mom, you need good health. So today's first activity for heaven is just playing a learning video for preschool. And I also bought this coloring book from Daily Grace Go. It's so good. I love their kids books and activity stuff. So check it out. And yeah, this is what she's going to be doing for a little bit while I do my five minute makeup. That's the other thing you guys, learn how to do a five minute makeup just to put yourself together for five minutes and you will feel a lot better and productive. My makeup that I use is from Saint and all of my concealer, foundation, brightener, highlights, and even my lip balm are in this one palette that I just showed you guys and I also love the eye method eyebrows and eyeliner they're amazing you guys so check them out in the description box below and I like to put things away as soon as I can or when I can so that it won't add or accumulate mess Barefoot. Okay, so now is the time to take a nap. No, I'm just kidding. It's time to get up and make our beds. You guys, every time I make the beds, it just makes me feel so much better. I feel like it's a warm up for me, and it just makes me more productive for some reason. I think it's just mentally, and it just feels good, especially when you go to bed at night, that your bed is made. Also guys, a little reminder, I just want to let you guys know that not every day my day is this productive as you guys are seeing or watching right now because there's days where I need to focus on some areas of the things that I need to take care of. So don't beat yourself up and don't assume like every day is going to be this perfect. Okay, so I just want to put it out there for you guys so that you guys won't get discouraged. But these productivity tips or hacks does help. So next, you guys, is the art of multitasking. This is the part where I will be teaching my daughter, giving her activities to do while I worship and clean downstairs. So today, she's going to be doing the ABCs, the numbers, and we're going to be reading some books and stuff like that. And here, before I hand her over the pen, I wanted to teach her the letters and also the sound of the letters.
So as I clean the downstairs, this is where I try to put God in whatever I do as well. So I pray or sing and worship him, pray for your family, your friends, everyone that he wants you to pray for and whatever the Holy Spirit puts in your heart, that's a time where you can pray for them. And also just praying for your household, giving thanks for everything that God blessed you with. You will be a lot grateful and cleaning the house and doing these things for your family will not feel such a burden. So the next activity for heaven is reading books. Again, these books that I just shared with you guys is from Daily Grace Go. You can check them out. Um, I will link them in the description box below if you guys want to check it out. But yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be reading some books and she did choose one of the Snug Snuggle Bear book. She really loves that book. Also, this is the time where I teach her about Jesus as well. In Proverbs 22, 6, it says, Start children off on the way they should go, and even when they are old, they will not turn from it. The next productivity hacks or tips that I do to be more productive is planning and also having some cute planners. I got my digital planner from Etsy. They have some cute affordable digital planners. They even have like Bible planners, budget planners, and if you don't have an iPad, you can definitely go to Hobby Lobby or Michaels. They have some cute planners as well. I customized this planner the way it will serve my needs and it helps me a lot and I also use this for my church notes and soon I will be doing some meal planning here as well. Okay, so next you guys is give yourself a break. You deserve a break and you need to keep your sanity, right? And the other tip for you guys or hack is use an alarm clock. I just started using it and you guys, it changed my productivity to the next level because I find myself sitting down for a long period of time and being on my phone for too long and it makes me become lazy and sleepy. And once my break is over, I don't give myself a time to think. I count one to five and I get up on my feet right away if I have a lot of things to do afterwards. Like for example, working on my channel, editing, researching, and more. So if you guys have side business or hobbies, then you can start doing that right after you take a break. Alright, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have your own hacks and tips for productivity, leave it in the comments below so we can all check them out and try them out. And if you guys enjoyed this, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for more. It helps the channel a lot. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!